Hello, my dear students of class three. Welcome back uh, to our e-learning class. Uh, this is, you know, as you, it is your science class. So I will be taking the science class now. Uh, in our previous class, we have uh, completed chapter number uh, six, that is uh, parts of a plant. So we have completed uh, the explanation and also we have done the question answer part from the same chapter, chapter number six, parts of a plant. Today I will be starting a new chapter, chapter number 8, I have written on the board here, chapter number 8, our body is a wonderful machine. We will read this chapter now, first I will read, then I will explain you, uh, we will be learning this chapter and uh, I expect everyone to follow this uh, chapter. Uh, this is uh, from page number 51 in your science book. Okay. Everyone will be f uh, following the book, uh, following the video. Okay. So this is a uh, chapter. Our body is a wonderful machine with many parts. Each part has a special work to do. Our body can do many things. It can see, taste, feel, move, play and grow. So our body is a wonderful machine. It can, what it can do? It can uh, do many things. Okay, uh, it can do many things. It can see your body. You can see so our eyes help us to see. Our tongue help us to taste the things. Our nose help us to feel the same. Our uh, to um, our nose help us to smell the things. Our skin help us to feel feel sensation. Okay, uh, legs help us to move from here and there. Play. Okay. Our body grows this way, our body is growing up. Now, uh, first of all, we will learn sense organs. Different sense organs we will learn now. We have five sense organs. You know, we have five sense organs. They are eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. Our sense organs help us to know our surroundings. They send messages to the brain and brain help us to know everything. Help us know everything so we have having five sense organ we are reading now sense organs okay sense organs there are five there are five sense organs eyes ears nose, tongue and skin. Okay. So there are five sense organs. They are eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. Okay. So they, these sense organs, what uh, does it do? They help us to know our surroundings. They send messages to the brain and brain help us to know everything. Okay. Now there is one uh, box there, you have to complete the box, Com some uh, sentence are given, you have to complete the f uh, sentence uh, to know the functions of the sense organs. There is a box there, you have to complete the uh, sentences to know the function of the sense organs. So number one, complete, I am writing here, complete the sentences okay number one what is number one i can dash the but beautiful butterfly with my eyes so i can see coming to the next one number two i can dash the flower with my nose so with your nose what can you do i can smell i can write smell Okay. Then number three, I can dash the cake with my tongue. So it will be taste. Number three will be taste. Number three will be taste. T A S T E taste. Now number four, I can dash the barking of our dog. 
with my ears so what can i do with my ears i can hear so number 4 will be here i can hear h e a r hear okay now number 5 i can dash the soft teddy bear with my skin so i can fill with my skin number 5 will be fill okay so the box is completed it is in the same page page number 51 in your book now what is our body made up of a house is made up of bricks we know house uh, building the mason is building the house okay it is, he uses the bricks to build the house similarly our body is made up of cells so what are cells cells are the building blocks of our body you must remember cells are the building blocks of our body there are different types of cells in our body let us know about the organization of our body with the help of the following pictures now i am talking about page number 52 okay page number 52 <coughs> so i will rub here now we are talking about page number 52 so first of all cells are the smallest unit of our body a cell is the structural and functional unit of life i can tell so cells are the building block blocks of our body then cell a group of similar type of cells forms tissues for some cell tissues is come means a uh, group of cells forms the tissues then different tissues together form an organ then a group of organs that work together to perform a function forms an organ system example digestive system then an organism or a living being is made up of different organ systems each performing a different function so first of all cells these are the building blocks of body then cells after cells tissues because a group of cells form the tissues then t after tissue there is an organ because different tissues together form an organ then after organ then comes organ system means a group of organs work together to perform a function forming an organ system suppose digestive system then an organism a living being is made of different organ systems each performing a different function so first of all we read cells okay cells after cells tissues okay tissue then after tissue comes organ okay after organ comes organ system and after organ system comes organism okay so these are the different types of organ uh, uh, organization of a body okay this is our organization of a body so uh, okay students today up to this much we have learned and this is uh, up to page number 52 the different organization of body uh, we have uh, learned the cell tissue organ organ system and organism next class we will be run, uh, learning different organ systems of our body so till then goodbye everyone